Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Monday, the 2nd of May, 2022. What a day, to say the least. First of all, in the pre-stream podcast, we discussed many different topics, including the fact that I found out that on YouTube, if you hit a milestone for members and you don't immediately upload a new emote that you earned for hitting that milestone, and then you drop below that milestone of members, you lose the emote slot. That's what happened to us because we had hit 410 emotes earlier this week, excuse me, 410 members earlier this week, uh, and we were talking over the course of the week about what emote would you guys like to add. <clears throat> After much discussion, we finally kind of, well, my hair is just sticking straight up, I don't care. We finally came to the determination that Rasta Phil would be pretty cool. That's the animation that plays when someone tips $4.20. And I said, okay, that'd be cool to have an emote because then if someone tips $4.20, everyone could use that emote to kind of celebrate, right? So I finally determined that. I went to do it. Oh, you have 399 members. You don't have the emote slot anymore. You need one more member. And I'm like, that's not how it worked on Twitch. And that's incredibly stupid because I've earned emote slots before and then dipped below the threshold but kept the emote slot no matter what. But if you don't fill it, you lose it. It's bad coding. It's what it is. It's very bad coding on YouTube's part. They obviously don't have the same uh, level of coding that Twitch does. It's really stupid. Um, and then we ended up losing more members. And it sucks because, you know, people rallied earlier in the month. They wanted to see, well, I say earlier in the month, but late last month. They wanted to see us do the special this month of me reacting to down the rabbit hole dark side fill. So that's why they all rallied and became members. But now a bunch of people didn't renew their memberships. So now we're down to like 394. So unless we get another rallying, we're not even going to get the emote that technically we already earned, which is really stupid. Um, what I would say is if you're a member, your membership might have expired, please consider re-upping it. And if you're you're not a member and you're considering joining, please do. Uh, you get so many cool benefits. I want to do the new event, which will be the next DSP Reacts. And this is one that's interactive because you'll get to actually vote on what actually I react to, okay? Um, and I would really like to get the emote slot back. I'm a little upset about that, so... We talked about that on the pre-stream. We also talked about a new story that Square Enix has sold off a bunch of their studios and IPs to make money to invest in NFTs and blockchain. I'll talk about it fully on the pre-stream podcast, so give it a look, okay? Today's mainstream was Elden Ring again, two days in a row, because I wanted to see if I could finish Melania before we went on break this week, so that way when I return to Elden Ring later in the week, it's basically focusing on Endgame, the actual final dungeon and all of that. So, did I beat her? Did I, did I not? I'm not going to spoil. You watch the videos and figure it out, all right? They're live right now on DSP Gaming, okay? All I'll say is, man, holy shit, that 100% absolutely Melania is the hardest boss FromSoft has ever put out, and I will not argue that at all. This is a case where, like, most of these bosses, after I fight them for a certain amount of time, I can learn their patterns and, and get away with beating them. This was a case where, like, because the way that the boss is, is designed where she heals every time she fucking hits you, that you basically have to be insane perfection. And even then, if the game decides to do moves that are insanely fast and unfair to dodge, you're screwed. Like, if she ever decides to do this waterfall dance move, which is the move where she does the giant flurries of slashes, there's no guaranteed way to dodge it if you're close. You're fucked. You're going to take insane damage if you're close to her with no way to actually avoid it. You have to be in a situation where if she does it, you're far enough away that you can run and outrun the first wave. <clears throat> or you can get away from the second and third waves through dodging so that you can heal and not die. It's ridiculous. And if she decides to do it in certain places, you're just completely dead. There's nothing you can do about it. And I've never seen a FromSoft boss like that before. Like, I've seen FromSoft bosses that are cheap, but never, oh, I've decided to do the most ridiculous overpowered move at the most inopportune time when you just don't have a chance to avoid it. <sighs> Anyway, check out the videos. You'll see if I actually beat her today or not. Um, and I can tell you that Elden Ring will continue later in the week. We'll talk about that in a moment. The late stream tonight was Bug Snacks, the Isle of, of Big Snacks conclusion. I liked it. It was fun. There was a big boss ending. And then there was a secret area to investigate, which we found. And it was pretty interesting. And then a secret bug snack. Problem is the secret bug snack is super hard to catch. And we ran out of time, so I didn't have a chance to do it. Plus, it didn't really matter. I'd already beaten everything in the DLC. It was still a good chill time, and I had a good, a good amount of fun today. Support was outstanding on the Elden Ring stream. Um, it was 
honestly ridiculously slow on the book snack stream, but I actually wasn't expecting much support on the book snack stream regardless. So, so what a great streaming week, right? Tons of progress in games like Lego, end game stuff of Elden Ring, end game now of I Am Fish. Uh, you know, Skyrim doing the Dragonborn DLC is outstanding. Really great variety this week, and I had a ton of fun, okay? So what's on the agenda for next week? First of all, I'm off from streaming tomorrow, so I hope you all have a safe and fun day. If you're going to watch videos here on demand on DSP Gaming, please remember to like them if you enjoy them, leave comments because that helps, and please consider, because tomorrow's my day off, if you're enjoying what you're watching, please drop some super thanks if you can on the videos. That helps a lot. It supports the channel. It's a way for you to say, hey, I like your content. Even though you're not here to stream today, I want to still help support you. I would really appreciate anyone who does that. And I will be looking periodically during the day at comments to approve them. And if I see any super thanks come through, I'll be sure to like your comment and, and basically uh, approve it. What do they call it? Fave it. So that your comment will stand out on the video. Okay. When I return on Wednesday, May the 4th. May the 4th, May the 4th be with you. It's Star Wars Day worldwide, so we'll be playing Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga on the first stream. The late stream will be the continuation and conclusion of I Am Fish. On Thursday, there's a brand new game called Trek to Yomi coming out on Game Pass. We'll check it out and see what it's all about. And then Thursday night will be late night chill fun in Skyrim After Hours. That means Friday will be the next major stream of Elden Ring, when hopefully we'll actually see some progress. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, <laughs> and then Friday night is Friday Night Fights, Old School Street Fighter fun. Over the course of the weekend will be a balance between Lego and Elden Ring. Keep in mind, number one, when I beat Elden Ring, I'm reviewing it. Number two, when we either beat Elden Ring or Lego or both, I'm starting up new playthroughs. WWE 2K22, and I'm going to do a major stream of The Forgotten City to get the final ending and see how it all ends. And then likely we're going to look for something else to put into the rotation, depending on how long Trek to Yomi is. I don't know how long it is. If it's lengthy and we balance it with WWE, great. But if not, then we need something else. We'll find something else. Late streams will continue on with Skyrim. And then once I've beaten both, well, I already beat Snacks tonight. Once I beat I Am Fish, then we're going to add something new into the late night rotations. I'm leaning towards a couple different ideas right now. Um, I'll, I'll make a determination later on this week, okay? So all this stuff is great, and one final reminder before I leave you guys uh, for the night and see y'all on Wednesday, May 14th, marathon event, the one-year return to YouTube anniversary special. I'll be streaming all day long, pre-stream podcast when we're going to order food for Feasting with the King, down, uh, re DSP reacts to Down the Rabbit Hole Dark Side Phil, Feasting with the King, some gameplay elements including possibly my first ever sim match in WWE 2K22, maybe an over-the-top battle royal for Royal Rumble. We'll see. So it should be a good time. I hope that you guys will join me for that. Put on your calendars Saturday, May 14th. Okay? Guys, that is it. Thank you all so very much for an outstanding streaming week. Please have a good day away from the streams tomorrow, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Peace out, everybody.